see it. We took the top off a rock. <laughs> Let's go out a little deeper. We're looking for anywhere from two foot to six foot. Yeah. Let's set it. So we don't even need the shovel, do we? Oh, okay. yeah. It wasn't a rock. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a lobster. <laughs> All right. Just getting set up. We got two, three more traps to go, and before we could get to the snowmobile, the flag went up. We'll see what it is. Hey. It'd be cool if the reel's spinning. Oh, Let's, no. Looks like it's just barely tripped. Oh, it is way off to the side. Okay. We're into our back end. So there's a fish there. So I'm going to pick up the trap yeah. and the fish is over here. You're going to grab the line. You might need your mittens off. And you're going to have to set the hook by like giving it a yank. Oh, okay. Cool. And then just keep pulling. Okay. So I... Only if you now? feel, only if you feel tension. Like here, I can, you want me to check? Yeah. No, nope, there's no tension here. You could feel that to, to feel that there's no tension. Yeah. The, right. Yeah. Hmm. But drop him back down, we'll see, we'll get him. If it's a trout, he might even take it out of your hand. A lot of times they're not far. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, get back in there. There you go. Yeah, he doesn't look as healthy as he did a minute ago, does he? Well, we got a flag at least. Wow, I see bubbles rolling. We might get breakfast. Is the reel moving? Oh, look at that. Yeah, the back's moving. All right, so if you come okay. right here. Yep. And you're gonna, you're gonna set the hook if you feel any resistance at all, and then just keep tension and keep pulling. There. So keep pulling, like keep pulling fast. Go fast, fast, fast till you feel resistance. And then you'll want to set the hook. Oh, did he drop it? I have a he took like... a mile. Wow, holy cow. He dropped it. Uh, no, no, no. No, that's the that's the ice. Oh. Dang it. Oh, that was a trout too. Why did he drop it? See how much line he, and it just went up. Wow. So they They, they get they get finicky. They take the that. They'll it's, take that whole, like they're eating that whole smell in their mm -hmm. mouth. Yeah, oh yeah. That's the... Yeah, if the fish is big enough. Oh, wow. Yeah. So yeah, you, you like feel... it's not too big. That's you, not too you big hold that, of a hold bait. Hold that right there and, and feel if something comes and hits it. Pull back. It's That's a pretty good size smell, but there's some big trout in here. Like three, four pounders. This might have been a little deeper. Oh, well. Cool. Yeah, so you did perfect on that one. He just had dropped it. Most of the time we get there, it's gonna be moving because he's swimming away with it. Yeah. And you're just gonna set and there'll be tension already. But like when it's not moving, you gotta like go, go, go till you feel it, then go. Okay. And then once you hook him, just keep pulling, like, at a reasonable rate, keep pulling.
it might be one there. Oh, can't do a lot. Right. If you feel any weight, give them a snap and keep pulling. No. Nope. Hit and run again. He might have turned around. Oh, did he steal our... Oh, yeah. thief! Uh-huh. Thief! All right, we'll get another one. Pick a winner. You got a winner? Yeah. Nice. Time has come, little guy. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I never do it over the hole. Right there. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, this right. is the perfect trout size. I know. He was the one. Yep. I felt it. Yep. I said, he's gonna his get time us, has come. He's going to turn us into... Shine. He's going to get us lunch. Mm -hmm. He was born for this moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just building the suspense. Everyone, every flag. <laughs> yeah, these are yellow perch. Nice. I'm going to put... Uh, too much for one. Oh, hmm. That's probably good for one. I have a garlic maple spice. That sounds perfect. You want that? Yeah. Feel free, put a bunch I don't on. Know, like... Oh, yeah, put a bunch right on there. That's probably good. Yeah, that's probably good. Whatever. That's good. Like yeah. That? yeah, I don't even think there's such a thing as too much. Yeah, this is good. What do I do? I roasted a bunch of sweet potato with that seasoning and curry powder, and then I made a hummus out of it. Damn. Yeah. Out of the sweet potato? Yeah. This is great salt. Instead of using seasoning. like beans for the hummus. So basically I just pureed that with like. Oh wow, that I, sounds pretty good. I pureed it with like a bunch of other stuff and made like a dip. It was so good. Oh, that's the rest of the perch. That was the rest of the perch. Now this is a mix between white, yellow perch and crappy. Nice. Yeah, this is just a grab Sweet. bag. Yeah, so we what can do, you, do... What do you think about, like, curry? You're not really into curry, right? I'll try it. If you pass me the green bag, I have all kinds of other spices in there. Yeah, let's see what I got. This is good. Cumin is really good, but just a little bit. Smell. Mmm. Yeah. It's like cooling. What, is it, it's what like, is that reminding me of? Hmm. An Indian restaurant? Yes. <laughs> Punjab. You get enough dill in there, you think? Yeah, and you put salt and pepper? Yep. Okay. It's right there, like slowly lift. And if you feel a good oh, yeah. if you feel a good one, you can kind of whack them. Uh, See, that's... Mm. Oh, did he get the bait? Yeah, he got the bait, so we'll have to uh, give him another one real quick. Yeah. I think it's a small trout. But he's sitting like right under you. You could drop it if he hits the hook. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get a little smudge, a little fire going for lunch. A little shore lunch on the rock here. We're gonna eat some pike. We're gonna eat some crappie. We're gonna eat some yellow perch and some white perch. None of those fish are in this body of water, but we brought them from the last trip I was on with Donnie. We filleted some of those up. So we got them wrapped up David Dudley style. Gonna do a little smudge, a little shore lunch and gonna start the fire. Let's go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get that down to like a nice little bed of coals and probably put the grate over it from the wood stove. We might or might not do that. And then we're gonna put those tinfoil boats full of fish and seasoning on top of it and let it kind of broil.
think we're going to be cooking good. Look at that. It was too hot, so now I'm worried that it's not hot enough. <laughs> but, but we'll get it figured out. I, I, I had to put all the snow up here to block the wind because it was kicking through so hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when there's no wind, this is like super easy. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Supper, dinner, lunch, whatever you guys call it in the mid to late day is... I don't even know what time it is. Is it before noon? Who knows? I don't know. Well, that's the cool part is we have no idea. So, <laughs> well, we're about to eat and it looks incredible. So, that's pike with David Dudley's special seasoning. This is yellow perch with the lemon smoked... Uh, smoked maple garlic salt, and rosemary pepper, and rosemary that is a mix of perch and crappie with curry cumin gotta unbutton to make some room <laughs> um parsley and basil and we have some spare grass aspergrass with dill we have aspergrass with dill and what did we cook that in that sounded super interesting to me some ghee Never Some heard clarified of it. butter. Never heard of it. <laughs> All right, dig in. Don't be shy, and make sure you get the juices in the bottom too. So I'm gonna try David Dudley's famous the pike season first. Oh my god, it might actually be a little overcooked. I had a hard time cooking. Mmm, mmm. It's not bad, is it? Oh my gosh, that's really good seasoning too. I know. Mm. We're going to have to get your secret. He's been keeping it a secret. We're going to reverse engineer what's left. Oh man. I know. That's the only wow, one I've tried so Wow, it's so, so good. It's not overcooked, I don't think. Okay, cool. I had a really hard time cooking today, guys, because they turned the fans on as soon as I got out there cooking. <laughs> and it was blowing about straight sideways on me. Blowing like a sieve. And I was having a hard time controlling because it would blow in there and I blocked some with snow and it would blow and then whoo, heat up and then it would stop blowing and burn down, whatever. But mm. I was able to cook it, I think. I think everything's pretty well cooked. If not, it's sushi. <laughs> All right, I'm going to mm. try the yellow perch with the... Oh, man. Oh, that might have fallen apart, but that's all right. Oh, that one. Isn't that incredible? So good. Yeah. So that's the pike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's my first time having pike. Yeah, me too, I think. Really? Mm-hmm. All right, and then we got perch here. Oh, that's pretty excellent, too. Ooh. This one had a lot more taste to me. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? Mmm. It's delicious. But if <laughs> I were to choose, that seasoning is better i know this is nice like this tastes the rosemary it tastes like we cooked it in the in the fir trees or the spruce trees yeah because of the rosemary i can't tell we if i'm getting the... rosemary or bones <laughs> <laughs> that was a bone yeah there shouldn't be many bones but that, i did get a bone out of that so just okay. be careful they're really tiny because they were small yellow perch it's good. I mean, we can still mm -hmm. put, we can still add seasoning to it. Mm. That pike is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Wow. I would eat that every day of the week. Yeah, that's amazing. And we just kept, wow. we kept like a moderate sized fish, like a, like a five pounder. Okay. And that's like a fraction of it. So five pound is like how many? It was like 30 inches. So, I mean, it's a big fish, but it's small as far as pike go. Mm -hmm. And it, you get five boneless fillets off of it. Okay. okay. Yeah, and this is just one of the five. Wow. Yeah, I got to try this, though. This is the this is the wild card. <laughs> I want to get it in the juices. Wow, it's crappy, and it's like falling apart. It's so tender. That's got a lot of flavor. <laughs> it's a nice way of saying. <laughs> mm. You got a bone or a scale? Mm -hmm. Come on. 
Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, if you... I actually like eating that sometimes. The bone? No, no, no. <laughs> this, uh, whatever this, the Indian spices are. Yeah. I wouldn't eat it all the time, but I do like it every once in a while, and it's good on this fish. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's very warming, the warming spices. Mm. And don't forget to eat your vegetables. Let's try these things, see if they're done. Mm. Wow. No, that's not bad. Wow. Like that seasoning, but that's the winner. Or I don't know if it's because Dudley's. It's the pike and the seasoning. Uh, probably. But that's the winner, though. I know. The seasoning is so good. There's a little bit left. <laughs> this, these are good. This might be the best way to ever cook asparagus. They're so plump and juicy. So we do have ten lines out, guys. We don't have any fish topside at all. We've had maybe five or six flags. We got a little late break this morning. We kind of got in here late last night, finished setting up camp right at dark is when we got camp set up and then like unpacked and everything and got situated and had a little bit of a late night. So we didn't really hammer on them early this morning today and we had a nice comfortable wake up when you want to morning and get going when you want to morning. So the fishing hasn't been great, but the weather, the company and the food makes up for it it's top notch mm -hmm. isn't that asparagus something else mm -hmm. yeah mm. well danielle just learned a super valuable trick to youtubing is i kept her talking and meanwhile i ate all of the really good <laughs> stuff <laughs> now i'm left with the asparagus <laughs> now that's all you get left <laughs> now there's <laughs> plenty <laughs> golly look at that guy i don't know if you can see that at home Oh, I know, like, stupid how good that look is. how, like, the color of that one, mm. the butter. Yep. I like the texture of that pike. Like, the like the flakiness is just firm enough. Mm. To, isn't, isn't that great? It's so delicious. <laughs> I know. It's almost, like, swordfishy. Like, it's really? stinky. You know, it's, like, yeah. it's not flaky right away. It's got some texture like, to it whereas like the perch just it definitely falls apart because it's so tender mm -hmm. i feel really bad for you guys not being able to try this but danielle and i might have to take it to market reverse engineer what he left us and bring it to market and start selling it <laughs> <laughs> fish tacos well it is tuesday taco it tuesday. is yeah I don't remember the last time I had a taco. How about you? Other than when Dudley was here before that, um, the last time I had it was at my friend Chris and Liv's house. She made incredible fish tacos with a homemade aioli sauce. Oh, homemade aioli? It was to die for. But before that, then I don't remember. So only with friends. But this is such a great idea. Yeah, for... isn't it? Like for the camping because it's so easy. Mm. Little cleanup's easy. Little tacos though. There we go, like that. Mm, yeah. Little mixture. And then I think I'm gonna do. Take some pike if you want. No, that's too good to be. <laughs> that's going to be the last bite. That's too good to put in a taco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's a little bit happening here. Let's see that big slot pocket there. Yeah. All right, we're hoping. We're hoping. Is this promising? Oh yeah, nice. So you're gonna want to stand on this side. You sure? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's on there. Okay. Oh, what side? Yeah, come right over here, over here. All right. And then pull. Pull. Yeah. And is there any weight? Yeah. Oh wow! Keep it coming, and just throw the line on the ice. And if it starts pulling too hard back, just let it have a little bit. Don't pull too much so you break the line. Okay. Okay. How's it feel? Like a fish? Yeah, it's a fish. Oh. Oh, did it stop? Oh it? no! Keep going. It might be coming at you. Did it pull out? No, no, something's on there still. So it might pull really hard. If it pulls really hard, you gotta let them have a little line back so it doesn't break, okay? Okay, okay. 
Jeez, looks like it's pulling hard. All right. Oh shoot. Keep coming. Oh, man, Sometimes they swim at you. Is Can he I swimming at off? you? I don't know. Yeah, he's swimming at me. Uh oh. Jeez, that's a lie. Uh oh. What? What? I hope. I wish I saw him fighting. Yeah, Keep I don't going. know. Go fast, go fast. Oh, oh no! Yeah, he's on, he's on. He's in? Yeah. All right, go easy, go easy now. Okay, now what? If he needs to take a little line. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God, it's a you big, see this it's a giant brookie. Oh my God! It's a giant <laughs> brookie. It's a giant <laughs> brookie. Oh, it's a giant <laughs> brookie. That's your first yeah. fish ever. <laughs> oh my God, guys. That's her first fish ever. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What a brookie. That's a trophy. That is amazing. Keep them away from the hole if you okay. want to eat them. <laughs> yeah. I know you oh want to eat them. Oh, oh my, my god, god I wanna, Danielle. I want to learn how to cut it up. That's a huge, huge brook trout. Look at that. That's like a, I don't know, he's a couple pounds plus. Yeah, he's a couple pounds. Wow. He's beauty, eh? Yeah, that is a beauty. Hey, buddy. So this one's a brook trout. Yep, brook trout. So it's got there's a lot of ways to tell but yeah. the square tail when you open it yeah see how it's square across it's got a straight line across yeah they call them square tails now a lake trout would be a v all the way in from there to there oh okay. yeah and they're built a lot more for speed brook and then trout. these colors see like the red with the blue around them yeah that's indicative of a brook trout as well oh okay wow Cool. Seriously, your first one ever. You could you could quit fishing now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean that's a staver. All right, so we're gonna. Well, he's got like a cool mark right there. Yeah. Huh. They don't all have that yellow mark. No. So we're gonna. We'll get the hook out. We're gonna kill this fish so you can eat it. Okay. Yeah, I want to learn okay. how to do that. So if you, well, the hook's right there. So if you pop, I mean, if you just hold up on that line, a little tension for me. Yep. Then I can pop that hook pretty easily. Nice. All right. So the hooks should be all. Oh, all no. <laughs> I caught it again. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Sweet. We put the oh my God, Daniel, that's a giant. The hook is there. Okay, perfect. Okay. So yeah, we'll hold them up for done. a picture. Okay. I'm gonna dip them once. Don't drop them. Ah! <laughs> Didn't get me. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, so hold them. We'll get some pictures. All right, tell the folks at home about that fight. Your first one ever. <laughs> it was a long fight. Yeah? Yeah. And he was pulling but he was in, No, he was fighting. He was, he was swimming right in. He came right at you for yeah. a while. I, I called him. He heard my call. He came running. Yeah, so they got to be six, uh, 14 inches to keep. Okay. What's your guess on length? 18? I'm going to say 18 plus. I mean, 20 is really hard to get a 20. Yeah, I don't know. You just hold them all. Okay, you get. Oh my God. What is it? It's 20. <laughs> 20 inches. Nice. Serious. That's a big brook trout. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> we could weigh them too if you want. I bet you it's close to three pounds. Are you gonna yell choo choo? Choo <laughs> choo! All aboard! <laughs> Wonder if we know, know anyone on here. Badging. Let's see. DJ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there she is. 2020. Bruce the Moose. Tubby. This one's cool too. Sure is.
Tonight is gonna be green peppers, mushrooms, onions, and garlic in a pan. And we're gonna throw some deer steak in there, compliments of my good buddy Russell. And we're gonna slow cook it in butter over the wood stove. Nothing better than that. And get it just right so it's not overcooked and still a little bit uh, red in the middle. And I got a feeling it's gonna taste pretty good all cooked in the same pan. That is so good rare do the vegetables well done and the meat rare you're liking the sleep bag yes <laughs> <laughs> yes this is my home for the rest of the trip i'm going into my cocoon nice and blossom into a beautiful butterfly and in fly fly away like a bird tomorrow morning yeah all right guys thanks for tuning in awesome awesome day for us uh just a reminder when you're fishing if you're not catching fish don't get down like we had like five flags or so this morning with no fish and a lot of times when you don't catch a lot of fish you catch your biggest fish and danielle caught an absolute giant today major major giant brook trout trophy if you get down or negative because you're not catching a lot of fish then you might not catch that big one you know if you don't have the right attitude going into it and and still work hard to check your bait and do all that other stuff so keep that in mind in the future had a great dinner tonight uh we got to go to the trains and tomorrow we're looking at maybe a non-fishing day maybe a day in the woods with a snowmobile and the snowshoes maybe climb a mountain we'll see other than that thanks for tuning in hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are and danielle says good night all right guys thanks for tuning in see you in the morning